Hello and welcome to the Elevate Podcast. I'm your host, Patricia Nowakowski. I am a salon owner, educator, mindset, and leadership coach that helps salon owners go from overwhelmed and burnt out to motivated and empowered. It is my mission to help you systemize your business, generate more profit, and create a career that you are absolutely in love with. Join us every week to learn about the small shifts you can make to elevate your business regarding mindset, marketing, social media, business systems, and so much more. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Elevate Podcast. On today's episode, we're going to be diving into all things becoming an extension-focused salon. I truly believe that focusing on extensions has created such a transformation for my stylist working behind the chair for me as a salon owner and just my personal life in general. I am going to talk about strategies and the successes that shaped our salon into becoming an extension focused salon and some of the strategies that I'm implementing to create some of these amazing things that I'm going to share with you today. If you've been feeling overwhelmed and overworked from owning your salon, you're not alone. If you're like many salon owners, you wanted to build a salon that makes you feel fulfilled, passionate, and something that brings you freedom and flexibility into your life. But you ended up being exhausted from taking on all your business tasks alone. It doesn't have to be this way. It's time for change. The Elevated Salon Owner Collective will help you do just that. You'll automate your salon, implement solid business systems, transform your salon culture, and take charge of your online presence to regain freedom back into your business. I'd love for you to experience the freedom and fulfillment that you desired when you decided to create your business. To learn more, visit opulentbeautypro.com backslash elevate or click the link in the show notes. Today's episode is all about transformation, not just the transformations we create with our services, but also the transformation of our business as we became a specialized hair extension salon. So first, I want to talk about where my push was to really focus on extensions. I will add that I have done extensions for pretty much the whole duration of my career. I've tried every single extension you could imagine as they've gone through phases in our industry, I've kind of brought them into my business. But it wasn't until about 2018 where I really decided to go all in on extensions. I literally was a new mom. I was burnt out behind the chair. I was double booking, triple booking, working with an assistant, could not work without an assistant. And I was just tired. I had no energy to bring home to my family. And I literally was like, I cannot continue to work like this. I really wasn't making a huge profit in my business. I was doing okay, but it just wasn't where I wanted to be. I was working, you know, I want to say around 35 to 40 hours a week. And it just was not enough for me anymore. I wasn't feeling fulfilled anymore. And I knew I wanted to start working smarter and not harder. So I decided to go all in on extensions. I invested in an extension class and I really just wanted to dive into all things business and extensions. And that was the one thing that drew me to taking this one individual class. And mind you, I've taken many classes after this class, but this was the initial start. So for us and for me, it wasn't just going to be an add-on service. This was going to be an opportunity to redefine who we were as a salon and to really kind of reconstruct my business to really focus on offering these higher-end luxury services behind the chair so that I could work less and make more. Now, this decision was not made lightly. It involved a lot of research and a lot of training And most importantly, it was focused on understanding the needs and desires of the clients coming in. I did see a huge need and want for hair replacement solutions from our clients. Now, I had to let go of a lot of services that no longer were serving me. I had a lot of shorter clipper cuts. A lot of my services that were no longer filling me up, I had to have hard conversations and I had to let go of some clients that I no longer wanted to 
provide services on because I needed to make room for the services that I wanted to focus on. So it started with that. So there was a lot of changes that needed to be implemented in order to get this process started, in order to free up time in my schedule. I knew as the salon owner and as the person who was creating this new brand for us, I really needed to be all in and I really needed to be the expert before I could actually train my team and really kind of push them into the same direction as me. So this wasn't something that happened overnight. This came with a lot of practice, a lot of coaching, a lot of refining my skills, a lot of research on the service, a lot of trials and errors, right? Like taking models, really seeing the pain points with the service, really seeing the holes and gaps that needed to be closed with the service. This wasn't an easy task, but I knew it was definitely something that I wanted to do. That is why I switched because I knew I wanted to refine our business. And again, I wanted to work smarter, not harder. I wanted a service that would allow us to connect with our clients on a deeper level. And I really wanted big transformations inside of our business. Not only did I want a service that would allow us to connect with our clients on a deeper level, I felt very fulfilled providing a service that I feel like is very needed for guests that were coming into our salon, experiencing a lot of pain around their hair. Women experiencing hair loss from medication, postpartum depression, growing their hair out after having certain medical treatments for cancer. There was so much need for hair extensions that looked amazing and hair extensions that didn't look like extensions In my area. So, not only were we filling the needs of women who were experiencing pain points, there was also women coming in that just never had really great hair who were avid extension wearers that wanted a more natural transformation. And I think with the type of extensions we were offering at that time, there was no one really in our area offering hand tied weft extension services. So I really saw an amazing opportunity. I really saw a service that was lighting me up because of the connection it was helping create with the clients coming into our salon. But it also created so many other things that were so beneficial for my stylists and for our business. So first and foremost, most of the clients coming into our salon are requiring color and extension services together. So it is a longer appointment time. So instead of needing all of these clients to fill up our schedule, our schedules went from taking anywhere from 10 to 13 clients a day, double booking, triple booking, to only taking one to two. And by doing that, it allowed me and my team who wanted to also focus on extensions to slow down and really get back to enjoying their career and enjoying the services that they were providing again. Instead of trying to rush and get clients in and out, in and out, in and out, we could focus on one person also providing an amazing client experience. Focusing on extensions now, okay, so we started focusing on extensions in 2018, and I'm going to go over some of the things that I've implemented in my salon to really master creating all of these amazing benefits I'm about to share with you. We've been focusing on extensions for about five or six years now, so I've really mastered and refined what we needed to do in order to get these results, which is something that we do share in my program, by the way. We are hosting a Build Your Extension Business class at the end of the year, which is going to be coming up because there's so much more that goes into it than just providing an extension service, which we're going to go into that in a second. I want to talk about the perks and benefits first. But all of these things have taken me time to really master. We need less clients to fill my stylist schedule because instead of having to pack their schedule with shorter services, they're now taking longer services. So they only need one to two clients to really fill their schedules. So not only has it given my stylist the opportunity to fill their schedule and become fully booked much quicker, because before working four days a week 
And to have a full schedule, I mean, that could be up to 32 clients a week to be fully booked in the salon, right? And that would be working four days a week. Now, instead of that, my stylists really only need eight clients to be fully booked if they're taking two clients a day at four-hour service appointments. So that has really made a huge impact on the way my team builds. Not only has focusing on extensions allowed my team to build their books at a much faster rate. Yes, my team still takes other services. They're not just doing extension services, but it really has allowed them to fill their schedules. My top earners work about 25 hours per week and make amazing money. So they have an amazing work-life balance and they're still creating an incredible income for themselves while being able to really focus on being young and having fun or spending time with their significant other or just doing things that they love to do in their personal life. So my two top earners, I looked at their hours today because I'm like, I'm just curious about like on an average how many hours they're working per week. Both of them we're going off my two higher, highest performers, are working about 25 hours per week and they make amazing money, more money than most people make who have attended a four-year college and have gotten a degree. So it really has allowed them to build this beautiful business, work smarter, not harder, and still have an amazing work-life balance and not break their bodies trying to get in all the clients at once. And it allows them to fill their schedule much quicker than just focusing on, let's just say, like touch-ups and haircuts because the service times are longer. For me as a salon owner, it has allowed me to step out from behind the chair and to really only focus and take the clients that I want to throughout the week. I will never not do hair. I think as a salon owner, it's important for me to do hair to set the example for my team and to keep on inspiring them and to stay current and relevant. And so that my my team takes me seriously when it comes to actually, you know, providing services in the salon. But it has allowed me to step out from behind the chair and really only focus on growing my business and working on my business instead of having to work in my business and on my business, which for me as an owner and as a parent has allowed me to create amazing work-life balance for myself as well. So not only are my stylists only working about 25 hours and still making amazing income, but me as the owner, has I have freedom. It has also increased my profit margin as an owner, which has been incredible. I think the average profit margin for most salon owners, if you're lucky, is like 7 8%, 13 on the high end. So really focusing on extensions has increased that profit margin for me tremendously. It has also created multiple streams of revenue and more cash flow for my business. So we sell our own hair in my salon, and that is the secret sauce to actually creating a high profit margin and to creating success with an extension business. And I'm going to talk about how to do that in a second. But it has also allowed for amazing cash flow for my business. So even if we have a bad week or a slow week, if we have let's just say two to three extension clients that are getting new hair for their installations, that can still be a three to $6,000 day for the salon, even if the salon is slow. It has allowed me to create amazing cash flow for my business. And if you're a salon owner, you know that cash flow is king and can make or break your business. So it has really allowed me to create amazing cash flow. So now let me talk about how becoming an extension-focused salon is possible because this is not something that is easy. It's something that needs strategy. And again, this is something that we go over in my Build Your Extension Business class, which we are hosting a class coming up here soon, actually. You need to know how to market. You need to know how to attract the clients You need to train your team properly because this is not a service that should be done and should be taken lightly. 
This is a very serious service that clients are paying a lot of money for. So if you are going to become an extension-focused salon, then you really need to make sure that the quality is there and that you are really being the expert and you are really refining and crafting your skill to deliver the best service possible for the people coming into your business. You need to build a solid reputation and you have to have solid training for your team so that they feel confident going into the service. Most people take an extension class. They're like, yes, I I just took this one or two day class. I'm gonna go into the salon and I'm gonna do extensions. They get intimidated, they get scared, and they don't utilize the investment they made in the class because fear holds them back. Taking on extension clients, being able to charge thousands of dollars, really needs the right mindset in order to create success with the service. And that's for you as the salon owner needs to know that and your team needs to know that. A lot of people struggle with charging appropriately for extension services, and that is one of the problems inside of our industry. So having the right mindset, having the confidence, confidence comes with building your technique and your skill, and having the right marketing is key to creating success with this business model which is something that we go over in my class. We just don't do a one-day class. We have pre-training, two weeks of pre-training, and we have a group for continued support after the class so that people can ask questions and bounce ideas off of, troubleshoot so they don't feel alone, so that they're providing the best possible service for their clients. And that is something that is so important if you're thinking about investing in extension education. Another thing you need to do if you want to find success in this business model is you need to charge appropriately for the hair. I get so annoyed and so infuriated when I see that stylists and salon owners are charging what they pay for the hair. They charge the client the cost of business amount instead of treating the hair like a retail item. Hair is a retail item. I'm going to say that louder for everyone to hear. Why you want to do extension services is because of the profit margin on the hair. If you are not going to charge appropriately for the hair, then do not do extension services. You're ruining it for everybody. You're undercutting the stylists who want to do it right. And you shouldn't do extension services. Now, there are a couple reasons why you need to charge appropriately for the hair. It protects your business. If you get a bad batch of hair and you do not charge appropriately for the hair, then you need to take money out of your own pocket to replace the hair for the client. No one can afford that if it happens on a regular basis, which this is why finding the right hair company is important. It's also going to make the service worthwhile. Hair extension clients need more attention, they need more adjustments, and they need more refining, period. They're spending top dollar and need to get top dollar treatment And when you aren't charging appropriately or charging what you think you should charge, you will not give the client the experience they deserve. When you elevate your price point and charge appropriately for the service and the hair, it puts you in a different mindset to elevate the client and service experience because you need to deliver at the price point you're charging. Also, as a salon owner, again, this protects your business and it allows you to give your team an amazing commission on the hair so that they want to do the service because they can make more money inside of their business. So charging appropriately for the hair is a must. Where I do that better 
is I do not purchase hair from companies that are based in the U.S. That is the middleman. So U.S. companies purchase from hair factories in China and mark up the price. We purchase from them and then we mark up the price, right? So really, the hair is getting marked up two times. Once by the distributor that is the hair company and then once by us when we sell it to the clients, right? That's how it works. That's how retail works. You wouldn't bring shampoo and conditioner into your business and sell it to clients at the price point you paid for it. It's the same thing with extension hair. You need to mark up the hair if you're going to buy from U.S. companies, and that's why I recommend companies that are pro salons and pro stylists, not companies that actually sell to the public because you can only mark up so much. When you are purchasing from a U.S. company, essentially you are purchasing from somebody who is marking up the hair once already, right? So what I do is I have found two factories in China. I purchase directly from the factory in China. And then I mark up the hair to what it should be in the U.S. when you're charging appropriately. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm bypassing the middle company, the middleman in the U.S., and I'm purchasing the hair directly from the China factories, which is why my profit margin is so high and it and it's why my stylist can work smarter, not harder, because the commission rate I can give them on the hair, which is a very high ticket, is anywhere from 15 to 25%. I have a sliding scale in my salon. We have a base rate of 15% commission, which I might add sometimes my stylists make more on their hair commission than they do on their service sales. I'll just throw that out there. But it allows me to give them incentive to want to do extension services inside of my salon. Let's say my stylist is charging $300 for an extension service. And let's just say for easy math, their commission is 40%. They're making $120 on the service. When they are installing new hair, which we charge $115 per piece inside of my salon, let's just say somebody gets 10 pieces and let's just say my stylist is making the low range, which is 15% commission, that's $172 commission on the hair, and that's at our lower scale. So they're making more off the hair sales than they are essentially off the service sales. So it allows my team to work less and make more, which is what I want for my team. I want my team to enjoy coming to work, and I also want them to love their personal life. And I also want them to be able to have a sustainable income inside of my business. So really focusing on extensions has allowed me to do that, right? Buying directly from the factories has allowed me to incentivize and to give my team a higher commission and more perks and benefits for working inside of my business, So this is why I love extensions. Again, you need to do it right. You need to make sure you have the proper policies, standards, procedures in place, the proper training, and the proper mindset that goes along with the ability or having the ability to charge what you should be charging for this high-end luxury service because extensions are a luxury Nobody needs extensions, right? People need a haircut. People don't technically need color, but some people need color to cover their gray. Extensions are a luxury. And it's completely transformed my business. It has allowed me to focus on my team. It has allowed me to focus on, you know, working on my business. It's given me opportunities to hire people inside of my business to help me run my business, like a manager, a marketing director, a salon coordinator, and it's because we have a high revenue producing service inside of my business. If you're a salon owner and you are interested in transforming your business and focusing on extension services, I highly recommend joining us for our Build Your Extension business. We will link the sign up for the class in the show notes. 
If you would like to refine and focus your business on extension services, you can always book a one-on-one call with me and we can talk all things extensions. You can also join the Elevated Salon Owner Collective where we actually include extension training and education inside of our program for not only you, but your entire team which will allow you to have the training you need to become an extension-focused salon for your business. We also give a discounted rate for our hands-on classes for all of our members' salon teams. So if you wanted more than just virtual training facilitated by our trainers for your team, you can also come to my salon in person at a very, very discounted rate so that your team can be trained in extensions so you can transform your business and work smarter, not harder. All right. Thanks for listening to today's podcast. If you know somebody who will highly benefit from today's episode, be sure to send them the link to our podcast. If you love listening to our show, please rate and review and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to the Elevate podcast. If you loved this episode, it would mean the world to me if you would leave a review on Apple Podcast or wherever you listen. The Elevate podcast is hosted by me, Patricia Nowakowski, and is produced by Opulent Beauty Pro. To receive my free business guides, visit opulentbeautypro.com backslash free or click the link in the show notes. You can find me on Instagram at Opulent Beauty Pro or at Patricia underscore Nowakowski underscore OBS. If you love this show, please consider subscribing and we will see you next week.